Sports, Sports Media presents Inside the Huddle. Inside the Huddle. Brought to you by Otterbox. Otterbox. Inside the Huddle is filmed live on location at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. Downtown Dallas. Let's, let's, go. let's go. Inside the Huddle. Inside the Huddle. Inside the Huddle. Inside the huddle. And welcome back to the 26th season of Inside the Huddle. I am pleased to be your host this year. I am Tyler Klutz, former fullback of the Dallas Cowboys. We're really excited tonight. I'm really excited that we have Dallas Cowboys, defensive back, corner, special teams extraordinaire, Orlando Skandrick. Orlando, thank you so much for joining us. Let's hear it for Orlando tonight. Thanks, man. We're filming in front of a live audience in House of Blues in Dallas. Uh, so Monday nights, make sure if you're around the area, come check us out. Orlando, man, thank you so much for joining us. T, man, thanks for having me. Yeah, guys. man. As a former I, teammate of mine, so it's yeah. a pleasure to be on the show with you. Yeah, excited to have you, man. And uh, and backstory between Orlando and I is is we used to be teammates, but we also used to be competitors we did. back in college. We did. Um, my first my first year, we lost to Fresno State. It was it was. We were ranked very high, and yeah. we went down to their place, and we kind of got embarrassed and kind of dropped the ball. And um, from that point on, it was kind of a springboard to my career. I didn't play very well in that game. I was a true freshman. I kind of struggled a little bit. But that game is the game that kind of turned it around for my whole entire career. Yeah, and so that was also the last good win for Fresno State in that <laughs> long tenure. So Fresno State and Boise State had a huge rivalry, and uh, 05 was, was the highlight of Fresno State in that era. And, uh, yeah, and so and thank you for not having a good game that game and, and letting us get that one. I don't think that, that they one. beat us since, and that's <laughs> about like I, I 13 agree with years you. now. I think. All right, so speaking of bad wins, uh, unfortunately it was it was not a great week for, for the Cowboys this week. It's, uh, it's always kind of uh, tough to come back and talk about it, especially being a former player. Um, I, I want to just talk a little bit about the week uh, in Denver and, and kind of what happened. But, you know, now that I'm not a player, I actually listen to talk radio and I listen to media a little bit, which like drives me crazy. And now that I'm kind of a part of the media, um, it's, it's so funny to listen to the media and hear the panic, right? And to hear, and, and you probably don't do it because you're still playing and you don't want to hear that noise. But to be honest, I haven't heard one thing because I really haven't listened. But I know what I can tell you is, uh, we had a very, very, very great week of practice mm -hmm. from, you know, what I've seen. You mm -hmm. know, unfortunately, I was unable to be out right. there because of the hand surgery that I had. But I think we just went up to Denver and we kind of came out flat. You know, the, mm -hmm. the whole, like, vibe was off. We didn't play well. We had a game where not only did we play bad on defense, not only did we play bad on offense and special teams, it was, like, kind of collectively. And it's one of those games that you rather have sooner rather than later. And it was right. kind of a wake-up call. Right. And that was my thing is that you hear these people go into panic mode. And, and you got to understand – Everybody has a bad day, and it was one bad day. It's just there's ups and downs, and, and people got to understand there's the NFL, there's other guys on the other side. Absolutely. Those that guys up get in paid Denver. a lot of money to do what they do as well. Those guys up in Denver, they're a good football team. You yeah, know, no and doubt, and can't take anything away from those guys. Not at all, and that's an extremely hard place to play. And I think that we kind of went up there, and you know, we had a, the delay mm -hmm. with yeah, the weather. Yeah, it throws you know, it all off. I think off we as started well. off kind of slow, and I just think we had some calls not go our way. You know, we had some balls not bounce our way, but I think that in the long run, that's going to be great for this team, and we're right. always going to have it to look back and lean on. All right, guys, join us as we come back with Orlando Skandrick, and we dive into him growing as a, in the leadership role with the Dallas Cowboys. For those of you that are watching on social media, check out all of our social media, get some behind-the-scenes footage, uh, Orlando and I, as we hang out at the House of Blues. Uh, but check that out. You'll a lot of fun. Join us. We'll be right back. That's a good one. Now hold still, hold still. Give me that sunscreen. Big smile. Why are you breathing so hard? My name's Joshua Jones, and my story began probably like a lot of yours are right now, where I was in dental pain, and I had several options, but I'd heard the amazing reputation of Dr. Lee and his staff and Crystal Creek Dental, and so I decided to move forward with dental implants and use them, and I'm glad I did. I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, Dr. Lee's great. Not only am I out of pain, I feel good about my smile. Love Dr. Lee. Love the, uh, the staff at Crystal Creek Dental, and uh, I highly recommend them. 
This is Mark and Michelle. They are certainly enjoying themselves. You see, they're on an Apple vacation at the adults-only Secrets Resorts and Spas. Apple takes care of all the travel details. Secrets takes care of unlimited luxury. So the only thing Mark and Michelle have to take care of is... Making a secret. This is an Apple vacation. Stellar Home Theater brings every touchdown to your home with amazing audio and video clarity. Top brands like Epson, Screen Innovations, Control 4, and more. Get a free audio upgrade and remote with every home theater purchase. Buy an Epson laser projector and SI Black Diamond screen and get the Dolby Atmos audio experience free. Call or sign up for a free consultation in the next 24 hours and you're entered to win Inside the Huddle TV show tickets. Visit our five locations or sign up at livestellarnow.com. Stellar Home Theater, the ultimate home cinema experience. And welcome back to Inside the Huddle. We are entering our 26th season. I am your host, Tyler Klutz. We are joined here by Dallas Cowboys cornerback, Orlando Skandrick. Orlando, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, first segment, we talked about the Denver game, put that to bed. Now we want to dive into you, man. 2017, you were voted a captain. Uh, I want to talk about how you grew into that role over your career. You've been here a long time. But I want to, I want to ask you, is there a pivotal moment in your career where you're like, okay, it clicked, I got it, or some advice from someone that was like, hey, Orlando, like, this, um, is, this is what makes a great leader. The, the greatest person that I think that I can give the advice to most of my career is Terrence Newman. Mm. When I came in here, T kind of took me under his wing, and, you know, he, he believed in me a whole lot more than I believed in myself. Like anybody that's walked into a new job, you kind of trying to find your way, and you know, instead of trying to find my way, Terrence told me, like, you belong. You know, you're one of the best young players I'd ever seen. You're smart. You know, you come to work every day. And it was just this whole NFL thing is just like the difference between talent is just minute. It's about this small. The difference between the best player and the worst player is about this small. And when you work and you just go to work every day, people see that, you know, and it's better than anything that you can say. And when you come out and you work and you work and you work, um, after 2015, because yeah. I believe I missed the whole 2015 season, season yeah. um, I tore my ACL, MCL, and medial meniscus. I laid on the grass in Oxnard, and I thought my career was over. Um, that, that, that was just a moment that was like, it was make or break. It was either give up or continue to fight through. Well, you know, I chose to f fight through, but what no one could tell me, because no one knew that there was going to be ups and downs coming through. Yet last year, you know, I felt like I played terrible. You know, I didn't play that bad, but week in and week out, I felt a step slow. I felt a step behind, and I didn't know if it was because I was injured or because I was just getting old. And in that moment in 2015 that you're talking about, uh, I remember it was one of the most somber moments I've ever been a part of on the field. We were in training camp in Oxnard, uh, went up to defend a ball that Lucky Whitehead went up to get and just collided. It was it was a freak deal. And and you could just feel just the the uh, the sorrow immediately because it, it's, it's crazy because, you know, just doing that and then, you know, a part of me is still laying down there on that floor because it's a bunch of what ifs. I still don't know why it happened. I don't know why it happened to me. And, you know, um, I don't, I, I'm a firm believer in God and I think God does not make mistakes. And um, that was a great moment in my career and that's gonna stick with yeah. me for the rest of my life. Well, especially you're like 2015 that the Cowboys had when you know that you can contribute so much and they need that out there. Uh, what do you think from that 2015 year that, that God really taught you? Like, what, patience. what patience? He taught me patience. And you know, nothing that come, that nothing that's worth having comes easy. Mm -hmm. So I had to get up, whether it be riding in the back seat when someone drives me from downtown to Valley Ranch, mm -hmm. or whether it be just those long days fighting through, yeah. you know, pressing, pressing off my knee or fighting through the motion of my knee. Um, but, you know, I'm very, very, very thankful of it. And I feel like I'm better than the player that I was in 2014 before I got hurt. When we come back, man, we're going to learn more about you off the field. We're going to talk about fatherhood, talk about leadership. This is the ultimate leadership role, being a father. But uh, make sure to join us as we come back with Orlando Scandrick. <laughs> 
I just want to say thank you. Thank you to my partner, Rick Dykes. Thank you to the employees of the Rick Dykes Auto Group. Thank you to our customers. Thank you to the communities that we're in. I just got this letter in this magazine from Inc. Magazine. The Rick Dykes Auto Group, for the fourth year in a row, made the Inc. 5000 fastest growing privately held companies in America. We're top 1% in revenue, the number one auto group, and we have almost doubled the Rick Dykes Auto Group again in the last four years. Thanks to everyone involved. Come see us. Mr. Manning, I'm a big fan. Do you mind? Yeah, sure, come on. Thanks. Thank you. Ready and... I know how he feels. I know how you feel. Pop up, pop up. Enjoy your hike, enjoy your hike. Very sorry. Do you have old collections appearing as new collections on your credit report? This is a common tactic used by creditors and junk debt buyers. Did you know when they changed the date making that collection account look new, that tactic is illegal and they broke the law? Our computer system has been holding creditors accountable to the law for over a decade. If this is happening to you or someone you know, or you'd just like to have a consultation to find out what you can do to improve your score, call DNG Credit LLC, the Credit Cops, here to protect and serve your credit score. This is Mark and Michelle. They are certainly enjoying themselves. You see, they're on an Apple vacation at the adults-only Secrets Resorts and Spas. Apple takes care of all the travel details. Secrets takes care of unlimited luxury. So the only thing Mark and Michelle have to take care of is... ...making a secret. This is an Apple vacation. And welcome back to the 26th season of Inside the Huddle. I am your host, former fullback Tyler Klutz. We are joined here having a lot of fun with Dallas Cowboys DB Orlando Skandrick. Orlando, thank you again, man, for coming on. Uh, we've talked about uh, the Denver game. We've talked about the 2017 uh, team, team. Talked about some obstacles that you've overcome in your career. And, and there's been some really big ones. And uh, you're a better man because of it. I want to talk a little bit more about uh, your life off the field. Um, uh, you and your wife now. No, I'm not married no, no. yet. Don't, not no, yet? Don't, don't. I keep I keep seeing that she, it's gonna she, happen. Did she send you a text, an email? She said, something? "Call me, Orlando's <laughs> wife, on air." So oh, he's um, obligated to finally make it happen. My, my fiance. Um, but what's your question? Go for How it. is that for you guys to focus on on the two of you and your relationship? Uh, because kids are in the picture, and you, so you have to be very, very, very strong-minded. You know, yeah. you're gonna people are gonna make things up. You know, and I just have to make proper choices. And That's for right. the most part, I try to make great choices at all times. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and talking about fatherhood, uh, congrats on your latest. I have not actually had a chance to talk to you about Drew, uh, your Andreas son. Yes. Uh, and then we also have something in common is we both are fathers of twins. We do. You know, I have Tatiana and Taylor. I had Tatiana and Taylor when I was... 22 years old, I yeah. believe, you know, those are my first two. Uh, you have two girls and beautiful girls too. And I am sorry about what you're gonna be going through in about 10 years. Well, I mean, you know, I figure if you raise them right and you know they'll make right choices, yeah. but just my girls are just a beauty to have conversations. You know, we actually yeah. had a conversation not too long ago and it's just, I was telling my friend, you know, every week is something different. It started off with gymnastics, then it was cheerleading for a week, then it's basketball, and now it's we're into equestrian school. Equestrian. So. <laughs> equestrian. So that's, my, that's my question expensive. to everybody was that, uh, was can you get a scholarship for that? Yeah. <laughs> Fresno State, they give you equestrian no, scholarships. No, my kids would never go to Fresno State. All right, so so little man Drew, having some fun with him, like what's, is he going to be a corner? I mean, you already working backpedaling with him? I don't know what Drew's going to be. This kid's <laughs> 16 months, he wears a gold chain, and he watches cartoons, so oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really don't have any idea what he's going to be you know he's, he has very long arms very long legs and mm -hmm. you know he's going to be whatever he wants to be all right i want to uh i want to change gears a little bit uh i want to i want to go to espy's this last year let's go all right so espy's you showed up and you showed up with a presence talk I us did. through the outfit that you wore and why you wore it um i showed up you know 
I'm getting into this whole fashion thing. This is going to be my first Now, okay, let me, let, me, let me stop you there. So you're getting into the fashion thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm wasting my face. Can you see me? Like, like I'm wasting all <laughs> We only got this, limited you know? time with him. So <laughs> I want to get into this whole fashion thing. So, you know, I hired a stylist, mm -hmm. um, Brandon, Brandon Williams. And he's like, this is going to be a statement. You know, I wear it to ESPYs. I wear it comfortable. You know, I smile and I just look comfortable. And the next day I wake up and there's a picture in GQ. There's a picture in Complex. There's a picture in Sports Illustrated, you know, and it's just something that kind of chose me. And, you know, wow. I'm really, really looking forward to going to Paris for Fashion Week. Uh, join us, though, when we get back and we're going to talk to O. We're going to dive deeper in his life. Uh, make sure to check us out on social media and check all the back uh, behind the scenes footage uh, and and learn a little a little bit more about what we do here at the House of Blues. Join us. We'll be right back. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. That's a good one. Look what you've done. Holly, I think you got it. Hi, my name's Joshua Jones, and my story began probably like a lot of yours are right now, where I was in dental pain, and I had several options, but I'd heard the amazing reputation of Dr. Lee and his staff and Crystal Creek Dental, and so I decided to move forward with dental implants and use them, and I'm glad I did. I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, Dr. Lee's great. Not only am I out of pain, I feel good about my smile. Love Dr. Lee, love the, uh, the staff at Crystal Creek Dental, and uh, I highly recommend them. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, from cleanup to reconstruction. Our certified, experienced technicians are there for you. Carpetec provides families and businesses with the highest quality emergency restoration, air duct cleaning, and floor care. Tell your insurance provider that you prefer Carpetec, because when you need us the most, our entire family is there for you. If your home's in a wreck, call Carpetec, yeah. Stellar Home Theater brings every touchdown to your home with amazing audio and video clarity. Top brands like Epson, Screen Innovations, Control 4, and more. Get a free audio upgrade and remote with every home theater purchase. Buy an Epson laser projector and SI Black Diamond screen and get the Dolby Atmos audio experience free. Call or sign up for a free consultation in the next 24 hours and you're entered to win Inside the Huddle TV show tickets. Visit our five locations or sign up at livestellarnow.com. Stellar Home Theater, the ultimate home cinema experience. And welcome back to the 26th season of Inside the Huddle. Uh, I am so gracious to be your host uh, along uh, a long list of great Cowboys that have hosted the show. Uh, one being sitting to my left right now, Orlando Skandrick. We've been talking to Orlando about a lot of stuff, man, and I appreciate your transparency and your, your willingness to just open up about us. Okay, so you're known on the field um, as, as feisty, uh, and you're not afraid to speak your mind. What do you think uh, some events in your life that kind of uh, shaped you in that direction? Uh, I grew up with a lot of other great players that they didn't make it because of they chose the wrong path, but my, my feistiness just comes from, you know, I just think I'm the best. I think I consider yeah. myself just a beast, you know. Okay, so you talk about coming in the NFL. You came out a year early out of Boise State after having a great career there. I did. School was not for me. No, no. and it's not for everybody. Not for, it was not for my wife, and she's going to be mad at me for saying that, too. But, uh, but so uh, you came out early, and when you come out early, you're thinking, okay, hey, I'm going to be a first-day guy. I'm going to be at least top four. You, you went to the fifth round. Yeah, because my attitude didn't match my talent. Um, I, was, mm -hmm. I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Who is what they're going to be at 20 years old, though? I don't think anyone here is the same person that they were as when they were 20 years old. Being drafted in the fifth round, uh, the, the already rock, boulder, mountain it, on your shoulder. Drove, it drove me to just watch all of these bums get drafted ahead of me. Like, who? Who? Yeah. Who? Like, so that, that was just, that drove me for a long mm -hmm. time. And then once I was in the league, it drove me that, you know, I wasn't a full-time player. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I felt like I was good enough to be a full-time player. And mm -hmm. then I became a full-time player and it drove me that, you know, I'm not one of the best players. And now it's still driving me that I haven't made it to the Pro Bowl yet. And until I make it to the Pro Bowl, you know, that's going to be the next thing that I want to achieve. 
The thing that I love about you, I love, I love your willingness 10 years in to come in and put your nose on somebody. As a fullback, someone that that was my job to just beat my head in, I, I appreciate guys that um, – historically are not the physical tacklers and I love that I mean there's guys you know Steve Atwater and, and Ronnie Lott the guys that kind of made it it's a mentality thing you know I just try and play like a lot bigger than I am you know I yeah. barely weigh a little bit above 190 but I just try and go in and just give it up you know and play mm -hmm. with that mentality that I'm playing bigger and play with that aggressive mentality and that attack mentality Orlando man uh, I, I'm so excited for you for this season uh, I know 2015 was a really hard year coming back last year and battling back and, and the resiliency that you showed is a testament to your character. I'm excited to get you back on the field and be thank, able to watch Thank you. you. And, you know, just every day I go upstairs in my theater room and I look at my 2014 defensive MVP trophy mm -hmm. and I think, you know, how can I get another one? I need another That's one. Right. I want two. I want more. That's I right. want more. Sean, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be right back uh, with our weekly sponsor spotlight with Splash Media, which is really exciting because we got some really big announcements. Join us. We'll be right back. The Emotional Road is about designing spaces for memories that last a lifetime. Architects and designers often emphasize how others will feel about your home, talking about the curb appeal and the sweeping views. But our starting point is much, much different. We care about the emotional reaction you and your family will have and those special moments that form the substance of cherished family memories. Of course, we analyze the flow of foot traffic and labor over where to put the mudroom. But we also pay close attention to questions as simple as, where will you put the Christmas tree? And even more important, how will Christmas present the moment the kids come down on Christmas morning? Isn't that the memory you want to last a lifetime? As we pay attention to those essential moments, walls begin to move, dimensions change, forming floor plans that are uniquely tailored to your life and aspirations. In Pensavia Custom Homes, life flows from room to room, day to day, and memory to memory. This is Mark and Michelle. They are certainly enjoying themselves. You see, they're on an Apple vacation at the adults-only Secrets Resorts and Spas. Apple takes care of all the travel details. Secrets takes care of unlimited luxury. So the only thing Mark and Michelle have to take care of is... Making a secret. This is an Apple vacation. Josh, there's a lot of great places in Texas. Absolutely. I've met quite a few of them in my truck from the Rager Dykes Auto Group. You say you haven't hiked through Big Bend. Had your hair blown back by Lubbock wind. And been somewhere where they call you friend. If you haven't seen my Texas from the seat of your Rager Dykes truck, then you ain't met my Texas yet. And welcome back to the 26th season of Inside the Huddle. I'm your host, Tyler Klutz. Uh, we've had a great night tonight talking with Orlando, and we're really excited. We've got Nicole here from Splash Media, and we've got some really cool announcements that we're partnering with you guys on something, but uh, I, I really, really am excited to have you on, and I want you to talk to us about who Splash Media is, how you guys got started, and wh where you guys are going. Sure, thanks so much for having us. So Splash Media is a digital marketing agency. Uh, we specialize in paid media, award-winning video production, and social media in any language. I think to date we've uh, served uh, clients in over 22 countries mm -hmm. and about 17 languages. So um, it's been a very, very um, interesting and exciting path to grow on since we were founded uh, back in 2004. I, I got a question for you. Yeah. What's that? Do you have the power to hire me permanently tonight? Because if so, I can make a text and we can start drafting up a contract. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad to you say I some, do have that power. It's a You got some catch up on social media. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, so it, kind of a cool story is, is your CEO, John, uh, he not only is the CEO and owner of the company, but he was also the very first client of Splash Media. Absolutely. He was client number one. So, um, again, long journey uh, yeah. came to us in 2004. Mm -hmm. And, again, we were doing about, well, actually for some of our clients, 24 hours of live wow. TV. So. Wow. 
Um, he came back in 2013 uh, when he was looking for his next opportunity, mm -hmm. has a big background in finance, mm -hmm. um, you know, leveraged that into his own company uh, in which he worked with Splash Media. And whenever it was time for the next opportunity, we were it. Okay, so Splash Media, what type of clients are you working with? This Who? one right here. We're, I, this one, yeah. that one, that's that's the client. We've got to get Orlando caught up. We have to, okay. we have to get me Dreyas. signed. It's great, you know, We're and I think, um, you know, I'd be a great addition to Splash Media. <laughs> the Splash team. I think all these people would come see me if I came back on the show again. So we've got a really cool announcement uh, tonight that we're gonna unveil to everybody. And if, if it's a great opportunity uh, for all of our viewers, whether it's on social media or whether it's on TV stations uh, across Texas and Louisiana. Uh, but we've got you guys coming on board. What, what does that look like? Absolutely, we are so excited to announce that we're partnering with Inside the Huddle. Uh, this has been such a great source of content for over 25 years now, going into year 26. So uh, with Roots in uh, TV ourselves, you know, this was a perfect opportunity for us to partner with a show that we really believed in and um, help it grow online because uh, we have such a great um, TV viewership and everything uh, is you know, moving online. Uh, you know, we want to provide as many ways to get access to the show and this behind the scenes look at the players' lives as possible. So um, follow us, uh, follow Inside the Huddle, uh, wherever, wherever you are, wherever you typically you know, consume your, your social content, um, you'll get a lot out of it. You won't regret it. Uh, we'll have a lot of behind the scenes content, exclusive online content, giveaways, and you know, get to hang out with all these guys no, a little not bit me. more. You guys haven't signed me to a contract, so. <laughs> and that's what that's what this show was formed 26 years ago by Ray Salinas, and he's done a great job of providing insight inside the huddle to what Cowboys players are going through. And tonight is a prime example. Like, we learned so much. I, I played with Orlando for three years, and I learned more about him tonight than I did in three years. And nowhere else do you get, get that kind of access that inside the huddle gives. And now, with you guys coming on board, now we can get that out to a lot of people. And, and we're really excited about it. And for those of you that are watching, continue watching this year and watch the progression of this show to see what kind of work Splash Media does. So if you're a company that's looking for some digital marketing, uh, some TV production, I mean, there's a long list, uh, community management, crisis management, strategic planning, data analysis, insight, creative content. Uh, all, they do all kinds of stuff. But watch what this show turns into over the next year with the partnership of Splash Media, and I think that's going to speak volumes for who they are. So, Nicole, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for partnering with us. Uh, we're excited to partner with you and John and, and all of Splash Media. Orlando, thank you for tonight. Uh, it's been uh, it's been a great night. Thank you to Chris Vandeventer, uh, executive producer, along with Ray Salinas. We, we can't say enough about Ray. And also uh, our production guys, Michael Thomas and uh, Ivan Zuniga. You guys are great. See you next time. We're really excited. We've got Anthony Brown on our next show. Join us on Inside the Huddle as we dive into the rest of our 26th season. Thanks a lot, guys. Inside the Huddle has been presented by Apple Vacations, Carpet Tech, Century 21, Alicia Trevino Uptown, Crystal Creek Dental, DNG Credit, The Credit Cops, BFW Improved, Extreme Wraps of Texas, Lombardo Custom Apparel, Otterbox, Penta Via Custom Homes, Rager Dykes Auto Group, Star Travel Stellar Home Theater, Tailor Made Heat and Air, and True Choice Benefit Specialists. Inside the Huddle is a Sports Media Incorporated production. Executive Producers Ray Salinas and Chris Vandeventer.